In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the WooCommerce category attribute. Inside of the widget creator, click Add Attribute, and in the attribute type, select WooCommerce Categories. In the title, you can give whatever name you want. Click Tab to fill in the name. And over here, we do want to select Use Custom Fields or Allow Font Edit. Click Add Attribute, and inside of the HTML tab, click HTML. As you can see, this is our widget HTML. I'm going to delete whatever is inside right now. And on the right side, we have the WooCommerce Categories Output. This is the attribute that we've added. I'm going to click on it once, and right here what we see is a loop. The loop starts here and ends over here. And we have all the different type of fields that can be inside of the loop. For example, name, slug, description, and even image, which are the fields that I'm going to leave inside. So let's delete all the other fields up to image. These we don't want up to description. And the ID also is not important at all. Can delete this small hr right now of course according to your needs i'm going to click update to save and in pages i'm going to right click to open the pages in a different tab i'm going to click add new to add a new page and i'm going to give this a woo category tutorial perfect edit with elementor and right now on the left hand side, I'm going to select the widget that I've just created, which is called WooCommerce Category List. Let's search for Woo Category List. Here it is. I'm going to drag it inside. And here we go. It's populating the loop. We have the first category hats slug hats the description is on sale now and the image url and then starts a new loop a new item in the loop which is the kids men scarves and women these are the categories that i have set up in woocommerce perfect i'm going to click publish to save and let's work on this a little bit in in the html so all of the html i'm going to put inside of my loop because I want it to be part of my loop. So I'm gonna wrap this first of all inside a div and I'm gonna style it background color. Let's give it something slight gray and I'm gonna add padding and margin just so they're not so close to each other. Perfect, the name. Now usually, you'll want to put each part in a separate div, so that way you can give it a class and you can style it or whatever you want. The slug is not important, so I'm gonna delete the slug. Description is cool, let's leave that in. and the image. Now with the image, as you saw before, it's coming in as a URL. So what I'm going to need to do is open an image tab, source equals, and inside of that, I put my image URL. Now we have an image tag, which the source is the URL of the image. I'm gonna put this on top because usually the image will be on top. And maybe another thing that I might want to do is wrap this up with a link and make it uh, linkable or clickable. So maybe I'll change this div into an A tag. So let's change it to an A tag. 
And over here, I'm gonna give the link to that category page. Now to do that, I need the field. I've already deleted it, so I'm gonna click on this again. And I'm gonna search for the link. Here it is, term link. Perfect, copied that. All of this we can delete now. And I'm gonna paste that here in the href. Since it's a, a tag, I'm gonna add also display block and text decoration none so that we don't have an uh, uh, an underline since it's an a tag it will add an underline click cool click update to save and over here I can just refresh and let's see what comes up how cool is that here we go here are all our categories each one if I click on it it will go to the categories page and uh, you can keep continue styling this however you want for example the image might be too big it can be inside of a carousel a slider you can create anything with it since it's the widget creator I hope this tutorial was helpful and you understood how to use the WooCommerce category attribute that we've just added please send us your feedback what are your thoughts and what are you planning to do with this? Thank you very much and see you next time.